Hi everybody, my name is Lai. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching How to Mommy. Matagal na matagal ko yung gusto gawin ng video na to, pero ah uh, na lagay kasi namin lahat ng newborn things ni Cairo in one box, tapos lumipat lipat kami ng bahay. So I had to look for all of these things again. Actually, hindi nga siya kompleto, pero itatay ko ng kompleto hin na lang lagyan ko ng pictures dito sa sa ano sa tag dito sa screen. Tapos um, per more or less, it is definitely newborn essentials. This is part one. Um, lahat ng idi discuss ko dito is yung mga pieces of clothing. Tapos yung part two is yung mga newborn essentials na hindi pieces of clothing. For example, uh, nail file, bath essentials, yung mga type of unan or type of, um, ano pa ba, comforter, mga ganun. So, I will discuss it in an entirely different video kasi ayoko sobrang haba ng video na to. But once again, for now, this is all about newborn essentials, yung mga clothing for baby during probably the first three months of life. So, just a very quick background. I gave birth Two years ago, matagal na. So, yung mga damit na to is medyo nag-yellow na siya kasi nilagay lang namin sa isang box nga. Tapos, hindi pa, baka hindi namin siya masyadong nalabhan ng maayos. Pero anyway, uh, more or less, it is still in good condition. I'm gonna start with all of the basics. And this is meant to give you an idea if you are an expectant mother, if you're pregnant, especially if you're a first-time mom, tapos on a budget kayo, I want you to watch this video para malaman nyo kung ano talaga yung importante and so that hindi kayo pabalik-balik sa mall. Yun kasi yung nangyari sa amin, when we already had Cairo, he was already born. Even if nag-prepare kami, dun pa lang sa time na he was already born, tapos we were already giving uh, care for him every day, dun pa lang namin na-realize na parang, ay, kulang pala tayo ng ganito, or mas maganda siguro eh, mas madaming ganito yung bilhin natin kaysa sa ganito. So, we had to go to the mall para bumili ng more ganito, more pajamas, more socks, ganun. So, if you're OC or if gusto nyo 100% prepared kayo, I hope you're gonna continue watching this video until the end para magka-idea kayo. And also, if you're on a tight budget, um, I hope this is going to help you para hindi kayo bumili ng mga things na hindi nyo naman pala kailangan, especially sa clothes. And my first tip is, if feeling nyo malaki yung baby nyo or um, mabilis lumaki yung baby nyo, you buy clothes na yung size is 0 to 3 months, which is most likely, yun naman talaga yung smallest available na nasa department store. Sa department store kasi ako um, madalas bumili. So, in specialty stores, like in H&M, merong mga nakalagay na newborn. Yun yung pinaka-small size. And, pwede kayong bumili nun, Pero, usually, it is more expensive. And, if mabilis lumaki yung baby nyo, um, hindi yun na magagamit for a very long time. So, yung binla namin is all 0 to 3 months. And let's start with the very basics and very essential. So, kung meron kayo nito, itong mga whites na ito, um, you probably don't have to buy any other type of clothes for 0 to 3 months unless gusto nyo bumili ng panlakad or pag-alis, which is, i-discuss ko mamaya. Pero once again, let's start with the basics. So, yung pinaka-common, nakanig kasi kami sa mga lola and mama namin. So, Ito talaga yung best na clothes for newborn daw. And this is the Thai side. Alam niyo yung ganito. Close up ko na konti. May tali siya sa front. Tapos, when you open it, ganyan, may tali na naman siya sa loob. And what's good about this is, kasi yung mga newborns is, hindi nila kayang i-lift yung head nila. They cannot support their head. And it's very dangerous to keep doing this and that to the head of the baby. Or, pwede naman, pero you have to be very careful. So, this is what they advise. Kasi, pwede nyo siyang i-open ng ganyan. Ilagay nyo lang siya sa bed. Tapos, ihiga nyo si baby sa middle. And then, you just tie the, you just tie the mga tali. Itali nyo na lang, ganyan. So, this is from SM Basics. The size is 0 to 3 months. It is available in plain white. Yung plain white nga pala is so that makita nyo kaagad kapag nadumehan and kapag may insects. And mas ano din siya, parang maaliwalas. Alam nyo yun, parang hindi siya mainit. Pero, you can buy any colors. Pero yun talaga yung usual na advice na you start with plain whites. Pantulog naman siya usually, ba? So, ayan. Yung ayaw ko lang sa type of brand na ito, SM Basics, is yung tali niya is medyo mahirap i itale. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung brand mamaya na medyo maganda yung tali. But this works. This is good. Bumila ko na madami nito. Meron siyang long sleeves. Meron din siyang short sleeves. So, 
aside from that, um, wala na sa akin yung long sleeve and ano, ay wala na sa akin yung short sleeves na ganun. Pero I'm gonna show you that meron pa lang ibang klase ng ganun. Meron tayong parang ano tawag dito? Merong buttons pero meron ding snaps. Nakita niyo ba? Nakita niyo na madumi na talaga siya no nag-yellow siya. Pero ayan, snaps siya. So, yung maganda dito is, minsan kasi yung pagtali, it takes time. Pero yung pag-button or yung pag-snap is mas madali. So, the baby doesn't have to wait very long. The brand is Hello Dolly. Nahanap ko to sa Robinsons Gallery na department store. Tapos, ganun pa din. Pwede nyo siyang ilagay lang sa bed, ganun. Tapos, ihiga nyo si baby and then you just snap the baby. Snap the clothes up. So, sabi ng ano... This is 3 to 6 months pala, kaya medyo malaki. Pero, this was also available in 0 to 3 months. Baka, I just already gave it away na. So, meron siyang long sleeves. Meron siyang t-shirt. Tapos, meron din siyang sando. Ayan, puro siya ganyan lang. So easy to open. It's so easy to close. Pero, my moms na, they prefer buttons. Pero, yung buttons is medyo natatagalan din ako mag-open and close ng buttons. And, meron ding moms na, they prefer talaga yung mga tali-tali. Because, sabi nila, when the baby tries to do tummy time, alam nyo yung nakadapa sila, which is also good for their development. Uh, when they try to do tummy time, baka daw masakit yung mga snaps or yung button against their tummy. Pero, para sa akin, hindi naman siya ganun ka-uncomfortable and Cairo never complained. So, aside from Thai side or yung mga tali-tali na mga damit, these are also my favorites, yung mga snaps. Yung mga buttons, um, konti lang yung meron kami. Hindi ko masyadong favorite yun kasi it takes time. Tapos, minsan kasi the baby cannot wait for you to finish. Alam niyo yung umiiyak na sila, tapos... Uh, tapos tinatali mo pa yung damit nila. So, that's one problem, pero... It's very manageable naman. By the way, you have to buy a lot of uh, long sleeves kasi madali silang ginawin or ano ba yun, nalalamigan sila ng uh, very quickly uh, during the newborn stage. And then, um, bumili na ako ng sando kasi iniisip ko, alam nyo yung mga times na gusto natin ilabas si baby um, outside the aircon. So, dun sa sala na walang aircon or sa labas talaga sin sa garden, ganun. Iniisip ko, baka papawisan siya. So, so bumili ako ng mga sando. Pero, binabalot naman natin yung mga newborn. So, kailangan kasi talaga silang ano, balutin. They like the warm The warmth. Anyway, yung pair ng mga tops na yun is pajama. So, this is, anong brand ito? I think this is Bebe by Soen. May baby brand yung Soen eh. So, nahanap ko to sa SM department store. The size is 0 to 3 months. So, may pajama na ganito. Yung sa may paa is ganito, may makapal na garter. This is good, pero kailangang mag-socks ni baby. Yung at that time, nanood kami sa bahay namin na medyo madaming lamok and na nakakaano talaga, like nakakagat talaga siya ng lamok if ganito lang. So, kailangan niyang mag-socks. I'm gonna show you the socks that work for us later on. Pero ngayon, ipapakita ko din sa inyo yung available na pajamas. This is from SM Basics. Still sa SM Department Store. Na meron siyang ganito. Um, this is called footed pajamas. Uh, para siyang may built-in socks. Yung what's not advisable about this is baka may loose na thread sa loob. So balik na natin siya. So yung mga ganito, you have to watch out na dapat wala siyang thread na ayan no? Something like this. Nakikita nyo ba? Kasi, if mahaba ito, tapos hindi nyo masyadong mabati si baby, baka nag-wiggle-wiggle yung toes niya. Baka, ma, ano nyo, maybe it gets tied to the toes and that's dangerous for the blood flow. Pero, if you always check naman your baby every now and then, it doesn't matter. Say, mas mittens yun ha, pag naglalagay kayo ng mittens, watch out na walang loose na thread. Kasi my friend said, somebody told me na, may nakasabay daw siya sa clinic ng pediatrician, na yung pinapagamot niya dun is that super tight na yung yung hilo sa fingers ng baby niya kasi hindi daw niya nabantayan yung mittens na may napakahaba pa lang thread and then nakaganong-ganon na sa ano sa fingers ng baby niya nahirapan na siyang tanggalin so i don't know gaano katagal yung mittens sa kamay ng baby niya no pero yun 
you have to watch out for all of the loose thread. Tapos, another thing na hindi maganda sa footed pajamas is, kung hindi naman ganito kahaba yung legs ng baby nyo, for example, si Cairo, he was quite a small baby immediately pag nung nu- newborn siya. So, nung binila namin siya ng ganito, this is 0 to 3 months, di ba? Hindi siya newborn size. So, may allowance siya for up to 3 months old si baby. So, hanggang dito lang yung legs ni Cairo. Nandito lang yung paa niya. So, parang pag ganun-ganun yung pajama. Alam nyo yun, yung parang gumaganan ganun when he kicks when he gets fuzzy gumaganan ganun siya tapos yung pajama nakaganan ganun para siyang mermaid para siyang fish kasi sobrang haba ng pajama niya which is not really a problem pero it was very annoying for him he kept kicking his pajamas na kasi parang may extra may extra cloth yun lang naman pero when he ara- when he grew up and beca- became 3 months old okay na yung mga footed pajamas gamit na gamit niya Kasi hindi na namin kailangan mag socks. Next for the pambaba is shorts. Once again, bumili ako ng shorts paired up for the sando. Kasi akala ko it's going to be great for outdoor time, like sa garden or sa sala. Pero it's not very advisable pala kasi baka makagat siya ng lamok. So, um, binalot pa din namin siya when he was outdoors and when he was wearing shorts. Konti lang naman yung binili ko, tatlo. So, yung pinaka-important talaga is yung mga long sleeves na tie side or yung mga may snaps or buttons na long sleeves and yung mga pajamas. Next is, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga favorite ko na pang alis. Bumila kami ng tie side pa din. And this is the one I was saying na favorite ko na type of tie side because yung tali niya is medyo makapal. Hindi siya flimsy. So, mas madali itong itali. Tapos, isa lang siya sa loob. And then, isa lang din siya sa labas. But it kept the clothing in place. Hindi naman siya nahukubad ni Cairo. Once again, ito sa sando. Akala ko talaga pagpapawisan yung anak ko. Pero, sa newborn stage pala is kailangang nakabalot sila palagi. But I just bought mga ganito. Kasi gusto ko ng colored. Especially when we had to go to the pediatrician. Gusto kong medyo parang nakabihis siya. So, this is, um, the brand is Hush Hush. Zero to three months yung size nito. It, this is found in the, ano, SM department store. Tapos, yung pair niya is shorts. So, nakaganyan siya. Tapos, from the same brand, meron din siyang t-shirt, tie side pa din, and shorts. Napakyut ng prints kasi ng Hush Hush. So, palagi akong dumadaan doon, tinitingnan ko kung may bago. And then, aside from t-shirt and shorts, they also have t-shirt na tie side pa din, and pajamas. So, this is all 0 to 3 months. Ito yung pinakagamit na gamit ni Cairo uh, during the first few months of his life. Kasi we always kept going back to the pediatrician for checkup. But because, I know, very quick lang, i-share ko sa inyo na low weight kasi si Cairo, he was tongue-tied and low milk supply ako. And we were exclusively breastfeeding. He was also very allergic to a lot of things. So, meron din kaming times na we went back and forth to the, do- to the doctors for, I know, for his allergies, um, eczema, tapos yun nga, may tongue low weight, tsaka low milk supply ako. So, we kept on going out of the house during the first few months of his life. So, these were the clothes na ginagamit namin kapag umaalis kami kasi ayokong naka plain white lang siya. Parang medyo boring kasi <laughs> kapag plain white. Pero sa bahay, plain white siya because uh, pantulog lang naman yung plain white or pambahay. Yung parang ordinary days lang na nasa, ano lang kami, nasa kwarto kami. So, by the way, if you wanna know about the the eczema, atopic dermatitis, tongue tie ni baby, let me know in the comment section if you have questions about that. And if you wanna know about how he gained weight, Kasi super duper low weight talaga siya to the point na our pediatrician was asking us to formula feed Cairo. Tapos, um, if you wanna know about that, I already made a video kung paano siya nag-increase ng weight or paano siya nag-gain ng weight without formula milk, without vitamins. I'm gonna link it right here or in the ano, description box below. So, aside from those types of clothing, I'm just gonna share with you yung favorite ko din. Pero medyo out of the budget na siya. So, um... The truth is, konti lang yung nabili ko, but I'm very thankful na madaming nag-gift sa amin ng mga onesies. And then, moving forward, na parang na, na, na-discover namin how, we co- how convenient it is to wear onesies 
one season na yung binili namin from six months and above. Even up to now, gumagamit pa din kami ng one season. So, from zero to three months, eto, na-receive namin to as a gift. Uh, this is from my friend who who bought it in London. The brand is John Lewis. And yung, ano, yung design niya is wide yung neck. Actually, most one season is ganito. Wide yung neck para, kasi nga, di ba, yung babies is supposedly hindi nila ililift yung head nila or minimal lifting of the head. Kasi, that's very fragile. So, wide yung neck, pwede mo siyang idaan sa legs tapos upper body tapos ayan up so you don't have to keep lifting the neck of the body the baby um what's good about one sees is that it stays in place hindi mo siya kailangang itak in ng itak in so my buttons kasi dito sa my crotch area ayan so you just have to snap that close and then you don't have to worry about the stomach being exposed, especially if pinapasa-pasa nyo si baby, uh, kakargahin ng mama mo, and then your husband will carry, and then you will carry. Tapos yung mga t-shirt nung gumagan, gano'n na. You're not supposed to expose the baby's tummy kasi nalalamigan. So, this, one C's are really good and very, very convenient. Um, my favorite type of onesies are from Uniqlo, pero wala silang newborn size. This is the smallest size, which is super laki. Nasuot to ni Cairo, three months old na siya. So, Ang maganda dito is, snaps din siya. So, you just have to open it, lagay nyo sa bed, tapos ihiga nyo si baby, and then just snap it close. So, hindi nyo na kailangang insert sa legs niya or sa, sa ulo niya. And, once again, this is from Uniqlo. So, that's also good. Tapos, just a warning if you want to buy onesies. This is one of the onesies na binili namin for him when I was pregnant. I think tatlo lang naman yung binili namin kasi nga we were trying to just buy the basics or the ones um hindi masyadong mahal. This is like at around 300 pesos. Imagine just one piece of clothing when this is already 300 pesos. Tapos originally straight ito hanggang sa sa paa, meron siyang parang yung footed, parang yung footed pajamas. Ganito siya. Hanggang sa paa. So, para siyang may shoes or may built-in na socks. Ganyan. Tapos, nung pinasuot na namin kay Cairo, newborn size to ha. So, like around, anong ilang months lang, hindi na niya masuot ulit. So, ang sayang naman, di ba? Kasi, there's no way you can adjust this para masuot niya. Kasi yung ginawa namin is pinutol namin yung legs. So, wala na yung, so, wala, so free na yung legs niya. Kung humaba man yung legs niya, at least ngayon, masusuot niya ulit to kasi, kasi wala ng footed or wala ng footed, wala ng socks. Pero yun ang yari is fix din yung crutch niya dito. Ayan o. So, hindi pa din niya masuot kasi humaba din yung upper body niya. So, napakasayang. This was 300 plus, I think. Binili namin kasi super duper cute. Pero, if you're on a budget nga, once again, it's probably not practical. Next is this one. It's a gift. Uh, H&M yung brand niya. Tapos, this is definitely newborn size. Zero to one month yung nakalagay. So, What's good about this is, kapag may occasion, at least your baby is not gonna be wearing baggy clothes. Alam nyo yun, ginamit namin to during the, the binyag ni baby, the baptism. Nagsuot siya ng baptismal gown during the ceremony, pero during the parang lunch or reception, gusto namin, ayaw na namin magsuot siya ng baptismal gown kasi makate and that was quite very lacy and, and it was like a dress. So, gusto namin magsuot siya ng something na parang cute. So, we were so happy na binigyan kami ng ganito. This is newborn size. And ito yung damit niya at that time na fit na fit talaga sa kanya. And the rest of his mga damit was 0 to 3 months. So, medyo baggy. Matagal kasi siyang nag-gain ng weight. Like, as in, like almost 3 months old na siya. Pero kasha pa din sa kanya yung mga newborn clothes na ganito. So, we're really thankful na binigyan kami ng gift na ganito. And meron siyang pair na leggings. So, that's very cute. And once again, kasi once siya. So, napaka-secured niya. Kasi meron siyang buttons dito sa my crotch. Ayan. Tapos, pwede niyo din siyang idaan sa baba kasi wala siyang buttons to open dito sa middle, di ba? Pero, you can open this sa my shoulders para maging wide yung neck niya. Tapos, pwede niyo siyang idaan sa baba. Ayan. So, you can find these types of 1C Super Lit sa H&M. Pero hindi kami bumili. We're just really thankful na binigay siya as a gift. At least may parang decent clothes siya na hindi super luwag sa kanya during his, ano, binyag.
So those are all that you need. So opinion ko for clothes. Bilangin niyo na lang, parang isipin niyo how many times or sino pwedeng makapaglaba in the middle of the week or at the end of the week. So more or less kailangan niyo ng 7 sets of clothes para that's Sunday to Saturday. Pero it will also be good to have extras kasi at that time the the baby will keep on and tawag dun? Lungad ba yun? Lungad ba tawag dun? Yung Hmm, because si sabi saya iba do ay yung tawag sa amin. Basta mo do ay nagani si baby. Ah, uh, yung nagsispit siya ng milk. Basta mo do ay nagani si baby, yung pag nagsispit na siya ng milk, mas gusto naming um, palitan na kaagad yung damit niya, especially yung pajama kasi mabaho or mat matagal din yung matagal na tatanggal yung stain kapag ipinapastay mo pa doon yung milk. Pero anyway, it's up to you naman. Um, just isipin nyo lang yung laundry schedule nyo kung how often kayo pwede maglaba. Kasi mahirap maubusan ng clothes midweek or like suddenly kailangan nyo palang magpalit kasi naihian ni baby. Alam nyo yung um, hindi pala kayo sure sa diaper size. na try ko din yun. Or dahil sa pagod-pagod tayo first few days of the baby's life, hindi natin naayos yung diaper. So nag-leak yung diaper. You really have to change the clothes of the baby. So, mas, ma mas mabuti if may extra kayo. Because, mahirap na magkarasya si baby or magka di ba sensitive yung skin nila. So, speaking of lungad, we also bought very many bibs. So, wait. Ito yung pinaka first na bibs na binili namin. This is the most basic one. The brand is Baby Armstrong. I think nabili ko to sa Robinson's Gallery. So, okay naman tong ganitong bibs. Pero, ako kasi, hindi ko alam bakit pero natatakot ako mag Natakot akong itali ito sa neck ni baby. Natatakot. I was so scared of choking. Natakot ako na baka it was too tight or baka maganon-ganon niya and then it's going to choke him. So, hindi ko ito masyadong nagamit during three to, zero to three months. Nagamit ko ito when he was older. Pero nung ano, newborn siya, hindi ko ito masyadong nagamit. In fact, I was very paranoid. Hindi talaga ako gumamit ng bibs from zero to three months. I think ha, yung ginamit namin is yung mga ganito lang square na, maliliit na square na lampin. Nilalagay lang namin sa ganito ni baby. So, that's why also na nakikita niyo yung mga white clothes ni baby may mga stain. Kasi, not all the time na, kasi kapag nahuhulog or na natatanggal to from his shirt, kasi nga ini-insert lang namin ng paganon. Kasi nga, natatakot ako sa, ano, ganito, yung mga may tali. So, hindi naman masyadong nagamit yung mga bibs. Ito yung mga nagamit namin, which is uh, Bay Bay by Soen. So, sa Soen siya na brand. Madami kaming ganito. Blue, green, pero madalas is white. But sa next ko na baby, um, baka bibili na ako ng madaming ganito para hindi ako masyadong matakot. At least this one is secured. Hindi siya natatighten or nalulusen kasi snaps siya. Ayan. And then maybe I can be more parang mas feeling secured ako na hindi mapapano si baby sa mga ganitong types of babies. Matagal kasi namin to nabili. Parang 6 months old na si Cairo before ko nakita yung mga ganitong types of babies. Tapos yung madami kami is ganito. Tako talaga akong gamitin to. So bumili din kayo ng ganito if if we are the same. Pero this also functions as a burp, burp cloth. Pwede nyo ilagay dyan tapos ganyan si baby. When kapag nagpapaburp kayo. So, we also bought socks nga pala. Yung pinaka-common sa mga newborn corners is ganito. Booties, cloth boots. Tapos, yung problem ko is, medyo lumiit kasi si Cairo. After a few days, he was born. Lumiit siya ng lumiit ng lumiit. So, yung mga ganito niya is na ano niya. He kicks them off. So, depende lang din yun sa size ng ankle or ng paan ng baby niyo. If yung ganito ng baby nyo is hindi naman natatanggal and this is gonna be good for you. Kaso lang ha, feeling ko talaga it doesn't offer protection kasi napaka nipis niya. Parang ano lang siya, parang style-style na may shoes or boots yung baby nyo. So it's up to you, pwede kayong bumili niyan. But for me, yung nagamit namin for a very long time is yung socks talaga which is ganito. This is, I bought this from the SM department store. Makapal siya and it tightens to the ankles or to the legs of your baby. So, hindi siya madaling na. So, Cairo wasn't able to keep the, kick them out of his feet very much. Unlike this one na uh, mas madali niya tong natatanggal sa feet niya when he keeps on kicking. So, yung mga ganito, this was better for us. I think merong mas maliit. 
still you can find in H&M siguro yung newborn size talaga na socks. Pero depende talaga yun sa baby nyo eh. Kung mabilis namang lumaki yung baby nyo, then sayang lang. Pero this one, this worked for us. And until he was probably around 4 to 6 months na gamit niya to. Kasi it stretches. Ayan. And hindi pa siya sira. Hindi pa siya like magagamit pa to sa next. By the way, yung ganito mga cloth goodies pala, baka may mahanap kayo nung, nung type na parang may tali na you can draw it. Parang drawstring. Drawstring ba tawag dun? Maybe that will work better for you. Pero ako, nakabili kami ng ganun. Pero takot pa din ako kasi baka it's too tight or baka hindi ko ma ma-adjust na parang nakagano na pala sa paa ni baby or sa legs ni baby. So, natatakot din akong gumamit nun. Anyway, it's up to you. As a mom naman, you can buy one pair ganito, one pair ganyan, and then check nyo na lang kung what's comfortable for you. Um, next is, I don't have them anymore, but mittens yon, And that's one of the newborn essentials na parang mixed yung feelings ko. I have a video entitled Baby Essentials, Regrets and Must Have. So I discussed five items na kinailangan ko talaga or parang they were very useful or important to me when Cairo was a baby. And I also discussed five things na I regret buying or um, binili ko medyo mahal tapos hindi ko talaga nagamit. So those were regrets or hindi ko pala kailangan. So I hope you can check that video out. Once again, I will link it here or in the, down in the description box. And one of the regrets is mittens. Kasi bumili ako ng super daming mittens. And then when we went to his first pediatrician's checkup, uh, hindi pala niya kailangan yung mittens or it's not recommended anymore. The reason is, mas okay daw, especially when you are breastfeeding, na free yung hands ni baby para it is for his sensory development or um, development in general na mas early niyang magagamit yung fingers niya, mas na-explore niya yung use ng hands niya. And it's also useful for breastfeeding na um, nakocompress niya yung yung chest mo para or yung boobs mo para lumabas yung milk. So, hindi in advice sa amin yung mittens and what was advice is to keep the hands clean and to trim the nails or nail file. Pwede namang nail file kung takot ka yung baka ma makagat ng nail cutter yung yung fingers talaga ng baby nyo, ba? Hindi kayo sure if nails lang yung kinakat nyo. Baka nakakat nyo na din yung fingers ng baby nyo. So, pwede kayong mag-nail file. Madaming mga different types of baby nail files. Pero ako, I just use the generic nail file, which is, which works. So, I'm not going to recommend mittens, pero during the first few days, yung wala talaga tayong energy sa hospital, especially ako, matagal ako sa labor. So, I didn't have the energy sa hospital. And paglabas ni Cairo, sobrang haba ng nails niya. So, that time, nagamit namin yung mittens. But don't buy so many mittens kasi after the first week, um, hindi nyo na siya kailanganin or it's not recommended anymore. But it's still up to you. Hindi naman siya it's not very bad naman yung effects ng mittens. Hindi naman siya ganun kasama. So next is aside from mittens is yung ganito. These are baby blankets. The brand is Bloom. Nabili ko sa baby company. And gusto ko siya because until now, nagagamit pa din namin siya. Napakaganda ng cloth niya. And we use this for swaddle, pero not very long kasi lumaki si Cairo. Pero nung time na kasha pa siya, ito talaga yung favorite swaddles namin. Ang ganda-ganda niya. And pwede din siyang ilagay sa bed as a parang ang tawag dun? Parang mini comforter. Hindi siya ganun kagandang comforter kasi hindi siya makapal pero okay naman siya. Parang alam niyo yung ayaw niyo siyang directly ilagay sa bed kasi baka madumi yung bed. So, lagay niyo to sa bed. So, bumili ako ng madami and this one is hooded. Ito yung it's the same brand, Bloom, pero meron siyang hood. So, pwede niyong ipasok yung ulo ni baby dito. Ganyan. So, may protection siya dyan, especially if palis kayo. And this is also a good type of swaddle. Next is yung towel. This one is, I think, so and yung brand nito. And this is yung towel talaga. Towel talaga yung, yung, ang nito, yung type of cloth niya. So, this is very absorbent and may hood. And, ayan, ganyan siya kalaki. Malaki siya. So, this is also very important. You have to buy around 3 para ma-rotate nyo in case na kailangan nyo siyang i-wash. Kasi the baby skin is very sensitive. And then, I also bought very, very many ganitong type of lamp in. The brand is Anfant, pero madami namang ano, different types of brand because Anfant is medyo pricey. Pero, I bought ganito 
ganitong brand and this is bird seed type of cloth merong gauze meron ding bird seed just try to open it and feel it ko anong mas gusto niyo ako kasi feeling ko mas absorbent yung bird seed pero hindi ko naman ni try yung gauze so maybe it is better for you guys so ayan bumili ako ng madami i think i have 24 or 12 of these so that kapag nilalaban pa tong ganito um, at least i can use this as yung pang cover nga sa bed or sa kung saan man siya uh, kung saan ko man siya ihihiga tapos pero this is not for swaddle kasi napaka nipis nito this is okay for ganyan parang burp cloth or para kasi in case madumi ka tapos gusto mong i-carry si baby or yung mga um, basta you just always have to have something like this sa ano mo, sa bag mo, sa diaper bag mo and then yung ganito kasi this is better for swaddling kasi this is thicker so, you have to ha in my opinion, you have to have these types of lampin or very huge burp cloths for your baby during the newborn stage. And the last one, wala na talaga akong mahanap, pero bonnet is very important during the first few days of life. So, yung nahanap namin is um, yung mga generic lang na white bonnet na nahanap sa department store. Bumili kayo ng probably 3 to 7. 3 to 6 para kasi usually yung packaging niya is tatlo-tatlo. So, bumili kayo ng mga 3 to 6 bonnets pero ako, yung nangyari is around uh, 2 weeks old si Cairo. We stopped using the bonnet kasi super laki na ng ulo niya. Yung body niya, matagal siyang nag-grow. So, nag-low weight si Cairo pero yung ulo niya is lumaki na. So, yung mga maliliit na white bonnets na yun, it's only one size kasi newborn size lang yun. Hindi nakasya sa kanya. So, bumili kami ng bigger bonnets. Importante yun pag lumalabas kayo sa gabi or kapag malamig yung aircon nyo sa gabi kapag tulog si baby. Pero generally, hindi na lang kami gumamit kasi wala na kami mahanap na malalaking bonnet. And pansin namin, hindi naman siya masyadong nilalamigan. Or that is also the use of these types of blankets kasi may hood. So if in case hindi na talaga siya kasya sa bonnet niya, eh, ganun yun lang to sa, sa ulo niya kapag umaalis kayo. Or wag na lang kayong umalis sa gabi. So I think that's it. Wala na akong maalala. If meron akong type of clothing na hindi na sale which is part of the newborn essential sana isusulat ko na lang sa description box pero i hope aabangan niyo yung second video ko which is newborn essentials aside from clothing so yun nga yung mga items like um yung diaper changing sheet yung wet ones yung um nail file yung mga nasal aspirator yung mga ganon i -di discuss ko lahat in an entirely different video tingnan niyo super haba na no video ko so i am going to try and make that video as soon as possible i hope you subscribe to my channel so that malaman nyo if uploaded na yung mga new videos na yun. And thank you very much for watching. And if you have questions like you want to know anong brands and ko nabili, if in case hindi ko na mention, just comment below, let me know. And I hope you can follow me on my social media accounts. Everything in the description box. I'm gonna try to flash it on the screen. Once again, my name is Lai and thank you very much for watching.